needs to be fairly solitary, uh, so walking the dogs. Under the cosh, usually. Give me a deadline and then I'll be creative. I tend to find that actually creativity isn't something which you, know, you can kind of sit down on a desk and it'll come to you. It, it tends to happen you know, when you're walking or in the bath or actually generally kind of doing something else. So I've um, grown lots of, uh, of bushes um, which I like to trim uh, with, uh, with scissors and so um, when I've got quiet reflective time I can get a glass of wine, I can um, trim these bushes um, it, it, it's, a, it's almost a, uh, the ability to, um, to concentrate on something and allow your mind to, to freely think of other things. Most creative in places of tranquility. With my Miss Underground feed, I'm down the underground, I'm just walking through a tunnel and I'll see something different, I'll see some lines or some tiles or some detail that I fall in love with and I have to take a photograph of. Rather bizarrely, I'm probably my most creative first thing in the morning, which inevitably means when I'm still in bed and those kind of first few minutes of waking up, I've had a couple of eureka moments in my life and then had to kind of leap out and scribble them down very quickly before I lose them. When I'm not trying to be creative. <laughs> so just walking around the block is just the most amazing freedom it gives you as you wander around. I don't know what it is, but when you're sitting down, you can't be as creative. It's a really simple thing. I'm most creative when I'm working out or going for a long run. I find that there's two things that make me probably most creative. One is, is where you are, uh, actually three, let's say three. One is under the influence of alcohol. Terrible, terrible uh, way to, to come up with ideas. But in essence, some of the best ideas have always come up uh, under the influence. Secondly, I would say is uh, being with people that are not necessarily of the same age as you. So talking to teenagers, talking to um, the silver surfers, having conversations about something that where they have a completely different, uh, uh, they look at it in a completely different aspect and angle. Probably in bed or in the shower, I get insomnia, so I end up spending a lot of the night listening to the world service. I am at my most creative when I give myself mental space. So I think it's really important to, if you've got something to mull over or something to solve, to give yourself mental space and, and stimulation and a break from stress in order for, for solutions to come. There isn't a time or a place or a day. Ideas, ideas tend to hit me. My house is littered with notebooks in various places. So I just write things down, then I invariably lose the scraps of paper. But generally an idea is something that then gets brought into a conversation and it's never a direct piece of creative output that comes. It's always more an idea that leads to a conversation that leads to more ideas which leads to something. I am most creative when I'm on the tube and I've got a seat and I'm able to completely zone out and just let my mind wander.